On Monday, December 19, 2022, a mysterious shock wave in a gust of solar wind crashed into the Earth's magnetic field, opening up a crack in the magnetosphere. According to Space Weather, an organization keeping track of such events, the barrage of plasma that penetrated the magnetosphere has led to a geomagnetic storm. Now, before we go any further, firstly we have know what is solar wind and how it will impact on Earth magnetic field. Solar wind is a stream of charged particles, primarily consisting of electrons and protons, that are constantly flowing outward from the sun's corona into space. This continuous stream of particles, which can have high speeds and temperatures, creates a magnetic field that fills the entire solar system, known as the interplanetary magnetic field. When the solar wind interacts with the Earth's magnetic field, it can cause various space weather phenomena, such as geomagnetic storms and auroras. And the Earth's magnetic field is responsible for protecting the planet from harmful solar and cosmic radiation by deflecting charged particles away from the atmosphere. It also plays a crucial role in navigation for animals, including birds and sea turtles, as well as for humans who use compasses and other magnetic tools for direction. Additionally, the magnetic field helps to create the auroras in the polar regions, which are a beautiful natural phenomenon visible from space and on the ground. And when gust of solar wind crashed into the Earth's magnetic field, which opens up a crack in the magnetosphere, which has led to a geomagnetic storm. Geomagnetic storms are disturbance in the Earth's magnetic field caused by intense and rapid changes in the solar wind. When the solar wind's magnetic field interacts with the Earth's magnetic field, it can cause fluctuations and disturbance in the field, which can lead to the release of energetic particles and the creation of auroras. In severe cases, Geomagnetic storms can cause disruptions in power grids, satellite communications, and navigation systems, and can even pose a risk to astronauts in space. The severity of a geomagnetic storm is measured using a scale called the K-index, with higher values indicating more intense disturbance. Although the shock wave's origins are not exactly known, Scientists believe it could have come from a coronal mass ejection, CME, launched by the sunspot A3165, an area on the sun's surface which already released at least eight solar flares on December 14, causing a brief radio blackout over the Atlantic Ocean. Sunspots are areas on the sun's surface where strong magnetic fields, created through the flow of electrical charges, entangle before suddenly snapping and releasing bursts of radiation called solar flares or plumes of solar material called coronal mass ejections. Once launched, these seams can travel at extremely high speeds, often millions of miles per hour, sweeping up charged particles from the solar wind which if pointed toward the Earth can trigger geomagnetic storms. These storms occur when solar debris consisting of electrons, protons, and alpha particles gets absorbed by the Earth's magnetic field. If they are strong enough, they can create cracks in the magnetosphere which remain open for several hours, enabling some solar material to stream through and disrupt power systems, satellites, and radio communications. Fortunately, the current storm was rather weak causing only minor fluctuations in the power grids and impairing some satellite functions, such as those for mobile devices and GPS systems. However, scientists anticipate that in the following years, more powerful geomagnetic storms could warp our planet's magnetic field to such an extent that satellites may tumble to Earth, electrical systems could be severely disrupted, and the internet might stop working completely, thus causing trillions of dollars worth of damage, while triggering widespread blackouts and endangering thousands of lives. The crack is expected to close soon, 
and the magnetosphere will return to its normal state. However, this event has raised some important questions about our planet's vulnerability to space weather and the need for better monitoring and understanding of these phenomena.